This giant vat of dough will become hundreds of Papa John's pizzas. The chain mixes, slices, and forms all its own dough out of massive centers like this one. This is the company's largest, and it ships out ingredients, toppings, and pizza boxes to about 400 stores across the southern U.S. And the Super Bowl is one of the company's busiest times of the year. It does get stressful. It, it gets fast-paced. That's because stores sell 67% more pies compared to an average Sunday, And they still try to get every pizza out the door within 18 minutes. Repetition, repetition. The more times you do this, the faster you're going to get. The company even has a test kitchen that's developed machines to speed up pizza making. 13 seconds when you're talking about a thousand pizzas saves a long time. We went behind the scenes with Papa John's six days before the Super Bowl to see how the chain slings out pizzas in a time crunch. Papa John's is the third largest pizza delivery chain in the world, with about 5,900 locations globally. Its operation depends on huge quality control centers, like this one, which are essentially giant pantries for the stores around them. Every item that is edible, every item that is inedible, comes out of this facility. Making dough used to be more manual, but in 2017, the company opened this facility with machines to make dough quicker and more consistently. This one can mix 2,500 pounds of dough in 10 minutes. This divider can cut 200 dough balls per minute, 50 more than an older center could do. A conveyor belt quickly shapes them into a ball. Then they go through proofing and another rounding process. Then for the first time, workers touch the dough, rolling and placing it on a conveyor belt by hand. Robots take over again, organizing them onto trays so they won't stick together when they puff up. And the robots are much more consistent. With less variance, you have less defects. And we just cruise, literally cruise. The factory starts to pump out more dough in the five days leading up to the Super Bowl, making 17,000 trays a day instead of the usual 12,000. Machines do a final visual inspection and metal detection. Then conveyor belts take the dough to this massive spiral cooler. It chills the dough down to the temperatures of the walking coolers. While that tempts a secret, the company says it's never frozen. Carlin Tucker is the distribution manager here, making sure all their giant fridges are stocked full. We got, we got, we got your green peppers right here. We got your Italian sausage, chicken breast. Woo! How about some baby spinach? You want some baby spinach? The freezers hold the meats and dessert. When I say it's cold, it's really cold. So usually when we're in here, you have to have a suit on because you can't be in here too long or you'll freeze up. You'll turn into a thin crust. The company's first pizza came out of a DIY oven in the back of an Indiana tavern in 1984. In a decade, Papa John's went from a standalone shop to a chain with nearly 500 locations. At the center of its roaring success was founder John Schnatter. He took the company public in 1993 and opened its massive Louisville, Kentucky headquarters. But in 2018, he resigned from the board after he used a racial slur on a company call. And in 2021, the pizza giant rebranded to Papa John's, no apostrophe. That same year, it opened a second U.S. headquarters in Atlanta. The Quality Control Center sits just up the road, in the middle of one of the chain's largest markets. Carlin's team supplies 400 stores across seven states. Once they get an order, they move all the inventory onto trucks. Here you have your, your boxes, you got your load locks. The pressure's on Carlin's team prepping for the big game too. We have, have people come in on their off days because it's so heavy, it's just all hands on deck. Across the U.S., these centers will ship out over 1.5 million pounds of cheese and 5 million dough balls this week. But they have some helpful equipment. So if we didn't have these uh, forklifts, it would be very difficult to be able to be fast, to be efficient. We would definitely be working 15, 16, 17, maybe even 20 hours. So it, it gives us the opportunity to be faster, to be more efficient. 
While Papa John's automated much of its Atlanta dough center in 2017, it didn't touch the pizza making process. The store still made pizza by hand, and it took two minutes of pie. But on a big day like the Super Bowl, a pain point emerged. Stretching out the dough took too long. So they brought the problem to the Papa John's test kitchen, also in Atlanta. Here, Joel and Chris test out solutions. How do we test new products to ensure that they don't break our system from an operational perspective? In 2019, they invented a machine to flatten the dough a lot quicker. So here's our dough spinner. We integrated this into the system a few years ago, and it only takes about three seconds. This is our dough docker. This allows for the dough to still rise in the oven, uh, but does get some of the air out of the dough. Then we just slap it to the correct size. This is going to be our 14-inch pizza. But the challenge is, how do they make sure this will work in every Papa John's kitchen all over the world? So they put the dough spinner through mock trials. It took about a year of testing. This is going to save us 13 seconds per pizza on average during our big day sales. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but 13 seconds when you're talking about a thousand pizzas saves a long time. In early 2020, Papa John started rolling out the dough spinners in stores. And really alleviated some of those pressures that our team members go through making those pizza, uh, making those pizzas every day, day in and day out can, can get tiring. This machine is gonna do it right the first time and it's gonna do it right on the thousandth time. After we got into this and we realized that there was a lot of time savings to be found, we got into our Papadilla dough and our Papa Bites. This machine helps thin out the dough and shaves eight seconds off the Papadilla prep time. Uh, so think about what that does on our high compression days and our big business days. They've also tested new pizza boxes. As soon as it exits the oven, we're putting probes in the pizza to make sure that uh, the pizzas are hot. Our boxes are vented so that they do not get steamed up and soggy. And also obviously at Papa John's we have our garlic cups, so we have to uh, be cognizant of somewhere for that garlic to fit. And then also the box needs to be operationally friendly. So something that team members are able to pull down quickly, build efficiently, put a pizza in and get out the door as quickly as possible with no sticking points. Store workers also complained that the chicken wings packaging made their fingers sticky. So back in the day, we used to have this as our packaging for wings. And as you can see, uh, it's not necessarily the greatest in visual, and it doesn't retain that heat that we looked for. So we took a step back, and we just came up with this design. Our team members can grab our wings out of the oven, dump them directly into this new package, squirt some sauce on it. Another key feature is we added a special place for this dip cup. Once it's in there, give it a quick shake. Now the dough spinner has made its way into 75% of North American stores. The spinner right here is definitely the best tool in the uh, restaurant for making pizzas. This takes us from a two minute make time to about a 60 second make time. Once a team member stretches the dough and docks it, they layer on the sauce. Fluffing up the cheese helps break up any clumps. Finally, they add on toppings. Fastest pizza I've ever made was a pepperoni pizza, large size and under one minute. Each pie gets a run through the belt oven for about five minutes. But even with this new tech, big game days aren't any less stressful. The pieces are so extremely high. We have to put a lot of labor, work in. It's just all hands on deck. I'm going to say yes, pineapple belongs on pizza. Anything sweet belongs on pizza, but of course, we love pineapples. <laughs> <laughs>